Hey, what's going on guys, Hex here, and today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends Archangel. Uh, you can get this figure and many others like it at Big Bad Toy Store, just use the link in the description. Alright, so this is considered one of those kind of deluxe package figures. Uh, I believe it was $35, so it was a little, you know, a little bit more. It was either $30 or $35, but uh, because it comes with these giant wings, it comes with four heads, uh, also comes with an apoc Apocalypse uh, Build-A-Figure piece if you wanted to add this to... Uh, you know, the Apocalypse that came with that one X-Men Build-A-Figure wave. Uh, so you can see that it does, you know, move up and down and opens and shuts and stuff like that. And you just connect it right there to his hand. So, uh, but is, anyways, uh, taking a look at the different heads uh, that you get with this guy. So this is the first one. You take a look at it and you can see, you know, some of that, that blue and then that uh, kind of that peak there with the gold, white and black. Looks kind of cool. Uh, then we have, you know, the angel head or unmasked. The hair looks really good there. I like the way that turned out. You can see the eyes. You got the blue eyes there as well. It's a really good looking head. And then, uh, then you get one that's a, you know, a little bit more evil here. Uh, so you're showing some teeth there. The hair is a little bit different style. Uh, you can see some uh, blue, dark blue going around his eyes, where now his eyes are silver. Uh, but another really good looking head. Um, and then the one that comes, you know, equipped in package, my personal, you know, favorite. Uh, just get that up there. Uh, is that going to focus? Maybe there's not enough light there. Uh, but you can kind of see the way it looks again, you know, with the silver in the eyes. And then you just, I, this is the way, because I collected a bunch of comic cards in the 90s. And this is the way that he always looked in the comic cards. And uh, I thought he looked awesome. Uh, so one of the coolest looking uh, X-Men characters, I thought. Uh, plus, I like his little color scheme and his wings are awesome looking. So I just, I just like him. Uh, but I think it looks really solid you don't see any of the paint uh going into like the pink going into where the blue and the face is and you can kind of see this uh pink uh go all throughout you know the figure through here the arms around there the chest it goes down here with the legs to the back so everything looks pretty cool there now as far as you know the the wings so they just attach there's well there's there's this little tab here in the back and then these things can obviously you know, take them off individually if you wanted to uh but they do have some articulation uh, of their own as well uh so these little pieces right here can move independently uh then you have this that moves independently and then you can move it together, as you kind of saw that we just took it apart earlier. Uh, it can also flap back and forth this way as well, uh, like this one too. And then this can flap back and forth, so you could have them all curled up if you wanted. Uh, and that would be cool if he had a flight stand uh, that you could, you know, put them on. Uh, that's one thing. I would have paid more, Hasbro. And it's a flying character. Include a flight stand. All, all flying figures should have a flight stand. That's that's my rule that I would make if I worked at Hasbro. Uh, and I think that uh, most people they'd pay a you know a couple extra dollars to get a flight stand with flying characters because uh, you'd want to put them in that pose, you know, instead of just sitting on the ground because uh, it would make sense. Uh, but just awesome figure all the way around. You can see that nice silver, the way that looks. So, let me see if I can, yeah, so this comes, this is the way that it comes in package, and, uh, yeah, it just looks really good, you can see those, those wings look really nice, and they're, uh, pretty sturdy, too, so, go ahead and move that to the side, we've already covered our articulation with that, <clears throat> excuse me, and we'll focus in here on the figure, uh, he's got quite a bit of articulation himself here in the legs, uh, but the head rotates however you want. It also has a neck joint to go up and down. You do have these shoulders that go up and down. Rotate here. 
bicep swivel. You have the elbows that bend, wrist articulation, left to right. This one also left to right. Ab crunch, waist rotation. Uh, you have the legs that go back and forth, in and out. You have the thigh cut. The only, the only reason I don't like using thigh cut on figures that are painted this way is because if you do it like that, then like that looks that looks weird. Uh, so I'll, I'll always try to just keep the thighs, you know, lined up. That way the paint always looks cool. Uh, but you have the double jointed knees, and then you have the boot cut. So if I needed to use something, I'd probably use the little boot cut here, even though he doesn't have any boots, but it's just part of his leg. But calf cut, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then foot, you know, back and forth and rotates as well. So, uh, but. That's a little quick look at him. This is an awesome figure. This is one that, you know, I was definitely excited. As soon as I saw that, like, we were going to get this guy, I was like, this this was on my list. And uh, this is another figure that will probably be one of my top figures of uh, 2018. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Get a bunch of heads. You can put whatever one you want on there. Uh, man, that looks, looks awesome. So, anyways, thanks a lot for watching. And... Talk to you guys later. Peace.